what number must be subtracted from each of the numbers 23 30 57 and 78 so that the remainders are in proportion so we'll try to solve this method in a easier way then we'll try to derive a shortcut formula and which using that formula we'll try to solve more number of problems so what number must be subtracted from each of the numbers means let us say that number is x if the number is x and you subtract them then the resulting numbers or the remainders will be 23 minus x Thirty minus x, fifty-seven minus x, and seventy-eight minus x. Now we were told that they are in proportion. That means we know if A, B, C, D are in proportion, then we know that A by B is equal to C by D. So can I write down twenty-three minus x divided by thirty minus x? is equal to 57 minus x divided by 78 minus x now we can do cross multiplication instead of that i'll subtract one on both the sides what happens now when i do that is i will have 23 minus x minus 30 plus x divided by 30 minus x is equal to 57 minus x minus 78 plus x divided by 78 minus x simplify that we will have x and x cancelling here so we have minus 7 by 30 minus x is equal to minus 21 divided by 78 minus x 7 will go three times we will have cross multiplication 90 minus 3x equals to 78 minus x solving you will get 2x equals to 12 or x equals to 6 now let us observe the steps whatever we have done the first when we subtracted minus 1 what we are doing in numerator is we are subtracting 23 to 30 and we are subtracting 57 to 78 and in the denominator we are having the second number and the fourth number so we have 30 and 78 then we are doing cross multiplication as part of that cross multiplication we are multiplying the difference of these two numbers with 78 and the difference of these two numbers with 30 so can we get a shortcut method for that so that we can answer this in 30 seconds what I will do for that is I'll write down 23 30 57 78 if you practice then this becomes pretty easy what i will do is i'll go and subtract first two numbers i'll have minus 7 i'll subtract these two numbers minus 21 i'll simplify them that will become now 1 and 3 now i will take my second number and fourth number and i will circle them then I will take the first number, multiply with the 1 with fourth number and this will the second number, multiply and subtract. So I will write down 1 into 78 minus 3 into 30 divided by 1 minus 3. If you are able to observe here, the same thing we have here. See here, 90 minus 3x is 78 minus x. What happens then? 78 minus 90 divided by 1 minus 3 the same thing whatever we have done earlier but without taking x and doing it very simply now let us try to do some more examples in shortcut method because we already know how to do that for the class exam but for competitive exams how to do that for that we will do couple of examples for practice let's take another example what number must be subtracted from each of the numbers 30, 50, 65 and 113 so that the remainders are in proportion. Now we want to just do it in shortcut method for competitive exam where you have a multiple choice. So I will write down 30, 50, 65, 113. What I have to do? 1 and 2 I have to subtract. I will have minus 20. 3 and 4 I will subtract, I will have minus 48, 
now I will simplify this I will have 5 and 12 now I will go and in your brain you can do that but initially you can just circle them then you can do this but after practice you will do it automatically now what is the next step I have to do I have to do cross multiplication so I will do 5 into 113 5 into 113 minus 12 into 50 divided by 5 minus 12 simplify that you will get 565 minus 600 minus 35 by minus 7 that is 5 so let us check what happens if I subtract 5 it will be 25 then 45 then 60 and 108 let us check 5 fives are 5 nines are here also 12 will go 5 times and 9 times so you can see these both ratios are same now suppose instead of subtraction we have to work on addition then what whether the formula will change no only the thing is in the denominator you have to multiply with 1 minus let us see how to do that problem so let us look at this what number must be added to each of the numbers 55 165 and 116 so that the resulting numbers are in proportion so we want to solve it in a shortcut method so I'll just write them down 55 100 65 116 what I should do first subtract one from the other minus 45 you can do 2 minus 1 or 1 minus 2 anything is fine because finally we are going to cancel the negative sign so this will become 50 and this will become 17 15 and 17 now let's go and mark our second number and the fourth number then we know what we have to do we have to do cross multiply so we will do that so next step will be 15 into 116 minus 17 into 100 divided by 15 minus 17 now simplify that we will have 40 I told you that for addition we need to put an extra minus here so that will take care of 40 by 2 and it will give you 20 that means we have to add 20 if you add 20 what the numbers will become 55 will become 75 100 will become 120 65 will become 85 and 116 will become 136 now let us look at this ratios and see I can do 15 fives are 15 eight sir I can do 17 fives are 17 eight sir so you can see that both of the ratios are equal 5 is to Eight. now let us do last problem where we have been given three numbers and said what should be added or subtracted so that the resulting numbers are in continuous proportion okay let's have one example like that and we'll wrap this up so let's look at this what number must be subtracted from each of the numbers 7 17 and 47 so that the resulting numbers are in continued proportion now what is the formula for continued proportion if a b c are in continued proportion then we have a by b equals to b by c so that means we have to take now the numbers 7 17 17 and again 47 for our shortcut method then what is the first step I have to do I have to subtract them so 17 minus 7 7 minus 17 anything I can do you have to follow the same order now 10 and 30 will cancel out 1 and 3 times what is our second and fourth numbers second is 17 fourth is 47 let's do cross multiplication so it will be 1 into 47 minus 3 into 17 divided by 1 minus 3 if you simplify you will be getting answer as 2 47 minus 51 minus 4 by minus 2 2 see if it is subtraction we are not putting that extra minus if it is addition we have to put one more minus there but for now it is plus now let us go and subtract 7 17 47 subtract 2 what happens we are getting 5 15 
45. Let us cross check. What is 5 by 15? 1 by 3. What is 15 by 45? 1 by 3. So 1 by 3, 1 by 3. That means our answer is correct. Now, for the exams, if you are like 9th grade or 8th grade and ratio proportion is part of your syllabus, then you will be doing in the way first what we have discussed. But if you are preparing for competitive exams and you have only 30 seconds or 1 minute time to solve a problem, then you can ap apply this shortcut method so that you can easily find out the answer for that. So I just thought I'll share that video with you. Please do let me know your feedback. Thanks for your time. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Be safe. Love you all. I'll catch you once again with another interesting examples or interesting concept. Till then, keep sharing and smiling.